Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be checking out this massive Lego Technic Cat D11T bulldozer with 3,854 pieces. Look at it on the box art. It's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? Beautiful box. So many cool moving features in this thing here that are all controlled by the app. We're going to be having a lot of fun with it today in this video. Look at the instruction manuals two thick ones there. It's crazy. This thing is so cool. So let's take a detailed look at all of its features and then we'll have some fun with it. We'll push some bricks around. We'll drive it over some bricks. We'll test it out. We'll see what it can do. And I'll show you the wicked cool app that controls this thing. First thing we should talk about is the size of this model here. It is absolutely massive. Like look at the width of it. And there it is compared to the Lego Technic Ferrari Daytona SP3. You can see it's substantially taller and substantially wider. And then of course it's the classic color combination for Caterpillar which is black and yellow. It's got lots of cat sticker pieces. You can see one here just behind the cab. Right there in front of the piston or engine covering. And then one on the front here as well. Included in that is also some detailed sticker elements inside the cab as well which can be accessed by just opening up the doors. There's one on either side and then you'll see all sorts of sticker detailing within. Included in those stickers is also our control panel, just right here. And of course, this will go in front of our seat within the cabin. It is a little bit difficult to get in there and see all those awesome sticker elements and also our nice seat with the control levers. Uh, but you know what? It's nice to know that they're there and it's pretty cool that the cabin opens up just like that. But to remove all this stuff on the top will be rather difficult. You can open the engine on either side right here, and when we power this thing up, the pistons will move within that engine. And you'll notice just above, behind, and in front of the cab, we have some floodlights sort of all over this thing here, along with some exhaust. A very durable build, easily flip it up on its side there to reveal the underside, or the undercarriage. Right here is our battery box that's going to contain six AA batteries that are not included in the set, of course, and also some of our gears, and some of our other motors that are included in this set. Everything that you see here is included, but that's to be expected because the price point of this thing is very high. It's around that $500 price point. You can see some more gears and also the gearbox on the underside as well. The blade of the D11 is very impressive. Like it is just gigantic. I just can't get over the size of that thing. And also the way it's shaped is very cool. And I love the different colors. You've got the light gray on the bottom, then you've got the yellow, and of course the black. And just behind that, we've got a large grill along with another cat sticker element just above it there. I love the grill, looks really neat. And of course, that's where our engine is with our moving pistons. The tread is actually built for this set, so that's a new element. And what's really neat is you can actually loosen it or tighten it. I thought that was pretty cool. So you can put it on there nice and loose, easy peasy and then tighten it up, put some tension on the tread, which is good. And then we've got our ripper on the back here, which can also be controlled by the app as well. And so can the ladder. Let's fire it up because that's where all the fun is. Okay, so in order to drive this thing, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your Lego Technic Control app. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on the D11 and click Drive. Once you click Drive, it's gonna bring you to the D11 control panel and then you're gonna to wanna to connect your D11 to the, uh, the app. Just by pressing down on that red lever there that's just below your engine pistons, and then it should just synchronize uh, via Bluetooth with your phone or your smart device right away. And it's gonna say connecting, it's gonna take a few seconds, and if it has to update firmware, it's gonna do that. If it has to update the app, it's gonna do that. If it has to calibrate the machine because it's your first time running it, it's gonna do that as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get rid of this box here. Uh, it's just in the way. And here we go. Bye-bye, <laughs> box. Bye-bye. Oh! All right, well that didn't work out as planned, did it? That sort of made a mess, eh? I almost broke my camera. <laughs> okay, but we can make the CAD D11 go forward and backward. And there's actually three different ways that you can control it. The one that we're looking at right now is like the classic control that I like the most. 
so this one here is sort of what the Cat D11 driver would see inside the cab. That's why I like it so much. I think it's just so cool. And you can make the vehicle go reverse or forward. And then you can drive it using that right there. Right? Now we can also steer it by using these levers on the left side. So this will allow us to spin it in either direction. Pretty cool, eh? So it goes complete 360. And we can put it in forward. And we can drive it around whichever way we want. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, right? So that's the way that we can control the CAD D11. Now you'll see there's a toggle switch right here. And that's actually a way that we can toggle to joystick mode. This is actually a little bit easier to control, in my opinion, because it's just like a straight up joystick. You bring the joystick forward, you can just steer it as if you're using a joystick on, I don't know, a, a computer or anything like that. So this is definitely a lot easier to use just because it's a straight up joystick. So pretty cool, but it's not as authentic as if you were actually operating the Cat V11, but it's definitely a lot easier to use. Uh, switching back to the other method here, you'll see there's some more controls on the right hand side. So one of them, what that's gonna do, let's just turn it a little bit more toward you, like that there, okay. So what this is gonna do is actually gonna raise our blade on the front there. So you can see our blade is on the table. So I should be able to raise it up just like this here. And that's gonna raise the blade up. Hey, isn't that cool? I think that's the coolest thing ever. So now that the blade's all the way up, you can see there's another toggle switch there. This toggle switch right here will actually tilt the blade forward or backward. Let's um, just spin it a bit this way here. Now you'll see that the blade will tilt forward or backward. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, eh? Oh my gosh. There's a few more things that we can do here. Uh, of course, like I was mentioning earlier, ah, we're going to be able to uh, move that ripper blade on the back. Uh, it's almost like a till blade or a ripper. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this toggle switch right here, and this is going to lower or raise our ripper. That's so cool. So there we go, we can lower it, we can raise it right back up. And now there's one more other crazy thing, okay? So let's spin it back toward you. Uh, you'll see right here that there's a ladder, okay? Uh, let me just bring it a little closer to you there. You can see that it's gonna be a lot easier to drive with the joystick because it'll stop on demand, right? When I lift my thumb off the uh, joystick, it's gonna stop. So it is easier to drive with the joystick, no question. But the last one is the ladder here. So I can actually move this ladder down just like that. <laughs> and then I can bring it back up. Isn't that cool? I'm just gleaming right now. That's so cool. Okay, so I wanna give this thing a little bit of a test. I'm going to drive it to the edge of the table. The joystick, you definitely have a lot more control. That's what we're using now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some bricks down. And uh, we're going to test it over some 2x2 two two bricks. I, I don't see why it wouldn't be able to handle some 2x2 two two bricks. These might be piled a bit high. But let's give her a go. No way! Oh! It could even spin on the bricks! <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry, there we go. I'm still a noob. I'm still. I, this is only my second time operating it uh, with you guys here today. I was operating it last night after I finished building it. I'm gonna put my blade all the way down. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Yeah. Okay. Ah, 
see, the, the, the bricks are under the blade. Let me fix this. Obviously, if the bricks are under the blade, we're gonna run into problems, right? Okay, but now my blade's all the way down. Now I should be able to, there we go. <laughs> Where's my bucket? <laughs> this thing is a beast, man. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Put the put the blade down. Can I do two operations at once? I can. So I'm operating the back uh, ripper. So you can do multiple operations at once. <laughs> can I bring the ladder up? Yeah, here goes the ladder, see? <laughs> that is so cool. So obviously we can do multiple operations at once. There's different ways of operating it. You can lift the blade up, you can put the blade down, you can tilt the blade, you can put the ladder down, you can raise the ripper, lower the ripper, and you can steer it forward, backward, and in circles. This thing is absolutely incredible. I love it. This is so cool. This is my favorite LEGO Technic set of all time. Like, it's better than the supercars because it's so functional. Like, I just, I could play with this for a long time. I would be interested to bring it into the garden, but I wouldn't want to get it all mucky, you know? This is honestly really cool. <laughs> the best bulldozer of all time. <laughs> Very cool, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on by. Let me know what you think of this set by uh, commenting to blow. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Just going to finish cleaning up my desk here. <laughs> I'm like a kid in the candy store, everybody. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a great day. Farewell.